So we're gonna go in here to the dealership and see what's going on. Because they haven't called me back today and it's been a couple days. So I don't know what's But I was just stopping by to check because I drove my other car here. I'm the guy who owns that Corvette. I was just oh. seeing what's going on. Uh, I, left, I left Jeremy a message, but maybe he's not in today. He is. He is, he is walking back to talk to the technician. Oh, I got you. Uh, they were doing some tests with General Motors. It's probably not ready yet, and I'm not here to pick it up. I was just coming to say hi and see what was going on. Huh. Um, I don't see your paperwork, but I'm. Um, Back up here. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, it's our I can't pick it up today. I drove my van up here. I was just swinging by to see what was going on. I said, I can't pick it up today. I drove my van up here right now. So you got down the right level. I got your sand from the cup holder. Um, we got down the right level. We got the ass in it, put the dye into it. Yeah. Let it run. But I think we put like five miles on just to get the pressure. GM wanted us to drive it just down the street and back. Yeah. We did that, let it idle on the rack, and we submitted it back to GM. I don't think it's, we didn't run them long enough to see anything in the, in the, the world yet. I was going to say, how do you even see it? Um, dye. You don't, it'll change the color of the oil? Well, you'll be able to see with our, the dye that goes in the, the, uh, the gas is fluorescent. So you just take the black light to the oil and it, it, it should have a shimmer to it. Like it looks like, looks like oil and water. Like I it's kind of like that. You get that white light, looks like So that. It, uh, it didn't show anything? Not yet, no. But I got that standard. If you guys want to keep driving it, messing with it it's fine with me because i can't pick it up today like if you want to keep messing with it today and tomorrow or if you want me to take it down the street or something i don't care i mean whatever that way you can get it out i got you right it's fine take your time i'm not i've got a double redundancy i took a sample of my own and then you guys have that sample but I want you guys to like try to get it to happen. Yeah, like if, if, if and I told Patrick, I said, don't, I said, don't go and beat it. Like, no, I don't care about that. Well, I car has 45,000 miles on it. Yeah, I drive them like I stole them. It, it, as you should, it's a fucking race car. Yeah. So the, the big thing is, um, yeah, it, it, it's, we want to tell, tell him, to, I, I forgot to tell you guys this and I feel bad. That was another reason why I wanted to stop by because I thought about it. I was like, oh shit, I didn't tell him this. Since these back tires are a different size than OEM, mm -hmm. it pisses off the traction control. Oh yeah. And so what happens is you gotta push the Z button on the steering wheel twice to get power. Okay. So well, he just put it up the road and back. But I'm they saying, told us to drive it and hydro it. But I'm saying if he drove it and it didn't give him power and like he's in traffic and he feels like he's gonna get ran over, hit the Z button twice okay. on the steering wheel and that'll give you all the power back. But you have no traction control when you do that, so just be aware. Okay. You can't go being crazy at that point. You got to have my regular smoke with cars in his back. Either two or three of them. His name is Dennis Spiegel. Yeah. You know Dennis? 
I've heard the name. So Dennis is, uh, he's, I mean, you know, he's had probably 35, 40 Corvettes. He's yeah. an engineer. He designs amusement parks and roller coasters. And those you. are on the east side of Cincinnati by me. Yeah. Um, and another guy, no brakes, no builds. He turns like the 65 Corvettes into like modern. He mods them out, AC, right. radio, electrical. He That's got cool. three ZOs. Don't ask me how he got them. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. He got a black one, he got a red one, and he got the third one. I can't remember what, what color the third one is. In different stores? Yeah, all from a question. Oh, People order them and they, order, they cancel. They back out of the deal. Oh, that's nice. Because I think it's when they all found out about the, the engine tick. Yeah. And everyone's like, oh, no, 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 I don't want it. And Noel's like, Give, give me every one right. to a check right now. <laughs> so, and he did, he got those before they got into the the whole thing with if you sell it within six months, six months, it voids the next person warranty, all that jazz that they were trying to do too. Yeah. So he he got he still got the wheel sitting up there. He's got a shop up in I think it's Lebanon or Mainville where he does all of his like he'll send his, his 65, 66 vet steady mods. Yeah. They're three three quarter million dollar Corvettes that he says to meet them in all the big auctions. Um, he does some, it's, it's some pretty gnarly work that he does. Right? Let me run back to Patty real quick and grab that, uh, the oil. Yeah, honestly, I'll, I'll be back. Don't worry about it. Sure. I don't All want, right. yeah. I'll let him know. You I'll hold on to it. Here back from the GM. Here's Basically. what I'm going to do. I'm going to have that kit mailed to me from the oh, place. Sweet. Okay. And then I'll just bring it in here and let you guys witness me throwing it in there and sealing it up. Yeah. Because it, it's not about you guys. It's not about GM. It's about like proving it all together that like there's something there going on. Something, yeah. And what you know, have the documents. And like I said, we did what they told us to do, and that's why Patty's like, as of right now, let's just let's let's re respond to Tat, let them know what we've done, right? And then say if they say okay, put some more miles on it, then I'll call you, say hey, we put more miles on it, and just at yeah. least keep in the loop of, of what they're selling. Because we responded back to them today at about two thirty or three o'clock. So I should hear back from them probably tomorrow. You know what else I thought about too? When I drive up, it's pouring rain like the whole way. Like all through South Carolina, Florida, South Carolina, Kentucky, Tennessee, the whole way up to Warren Rain. Mm -hmm. And so that condensation gets inside the gas tank. And then when you put cold fuel in the gas, that allows the water that was in the gas tank to all of a sudden drop, you know what I'm saying, like dew. Uh, except it's landing on your gas instead of on your grass, you know. So, yeah. um, but anyway, it's just. Um, I'll let you know what they say tomorrow. If they say put some more miles on it, I'll call you and let you know, hey, we're going to put 25, 30 miles on it. And my big thing is I want to prove to General Motors and prove to the world that it's... How long? So it's, you it's, had it's, the oil change water. down. Where were you at when you had the oil change? I literally picked the car up from the dealership in, in West Palm. Okay, it was in West Palm. Yep. And then... Drove straight here. When did you check the oil for the first time? Uh, when I picked it up and then it was fine. Yeah, but when you, you checked it when you got back to Cincinnati? No. You checked... When did you figure out it was overfilled? When I... I in the owner's manual, it says that you have to check every gas fill up. Okay. Otherwise, they can void your warrant. And uh, most people don't know that. And this is why they want you to check it. Yeah. They, they, because of this problem. Uh, and, but anyway, so I checked it uh, at, uh, at the Tennessee Kentucky border when I filled up. Okay. And I made a video of it. And that's when you realized, okay, because I want to know, my, my reason for that is. How long did you have to drive it before you started seeing that it was it was going up? It happened in a single tank. Okay. It happened in a single tank. But the thing is, if there's any, I, I, like I said, I think it's water. I really think it's water and fuel. But I think other cars, it's not an issue. And I think on these cars, there is an issue. Yeah. Um, when there's water in the fuel, I think it causes one bank to run super rich and wash down the cylinders like I was telling you. And that's the thing. Like nobody's been able to. Prove it, prove it. Yeah. So I'm trying to prove it. All in theory right now until we get something but, on paper. But here's the thing. General Motors, just so you understand, they're not going to want me to prove this. Because if I can prove this, I mean, this is something that, like, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration might, I mean, they could literally stop sale these cars. It's like the diesel Jetta situation. Like, if, if you can prove, if you can prove there's an issue that shouldn't be causing this big of a problem, like other cars, it doesn't cause this problem, but on this car, it's an extenuating circumstance where all of a sudden the oil raises up and then next thing you know, your pistons are gonna hit. I mean, if you can prove that that happens from well, a circumstance. Too much water to, you, you, you can hide the motor too. Right. I mean, it, it's yeah, like it bends a connecting rod. Yep. And uh, you know, when the piston comes out and slaps on a cold start. So that's what I'm saying. If you can prove that this causes the engine to eventually grenade, from something that doesn't cause other engines to grenade. You know, a regular car that doesn't have a fork in the in the high side or in the low side fuel line, if, if what I'm saying is true, 
a regular car, they just run a little weird, but they don't raise the oil up because one bank of the get engine doesn't receive different pressure than the other bank. Mm -hmm. But on this one, it's receiving two different pressures, is my theory. And that's a really big deal where they need to add a second low side fuel pump for the dedicated feed line to each one so they can control the pressure on each one and make sure that, like I explained the other day with that Y, if, if all of a sudden the water's going one way and the gasoline's going the other, when it hits that Y, that's that that's a big deal. And so, I mean, this is, they know it's an issue. Like you said, Danny Pop told you that they knew it was an issue. And the reason why I know it's an issue is because they were holding. Well, you know, I talked to Pop, he said he never heard anything this. Oh, I, mean, I can tell him to pick, you tell him to ask about the cars that had oiling issues on the first uh, allocation round of C8Z06 where they held them on the back lot and they wouldn't release them. Ask what, him, what, what was the oil issue this. that they said? It was this? Yes. I've got inside guys and they, my inside guys would not tell me about this problem until after I had it. And then they said, oh, here it is. <laughs> and they said, we weren't going to tell you because we wanted to see if it was going to happen to you or not. But and they didn't, it wasn't this car, it was the first car. I had this happen on my first car after like 20,000 miles. Boom, all of a sudden it happened. Yeah. And I put up a video about it and they're like, oh, by the way, we know. They're like, it's, it's a mystery. Busy, they sold hell. We sold up there, they sold probably, I want to say probably 30 or 40 ZOs down there. It's happened to brand new cars at PDI. Yeah, and the only thing I've ever seen on those is the certain were trans problems. I, I had yeah. to replace the trans in one of them, which that was, the gnarliest thing I've ever seen when yeah. the whole I, I didn't out. figure it out for 20,000 miles, but once I finally figured it so out. this has been ongoing for you for, for that long? No. So that first car uh, ended up getting rid of it. Uh, it. It would raise the gasoline, not as much as this one did this last time, but it would raise the gra gas gradually. Like I started paying really good attention to it, and it would gradually raise. And again, it rains a lot in Florida. There's crazy humidity in Florida. Yeah. Um, so the, the water in the gas tank really checked out in my, in my mind. But it was never enough to like freak out about. This one was the first time since that first car. That first car raised up so much that it was something to freak out about. This one was the first time it's happened again since where it's been enough yeah, to freak out about. Like, hey, wait a second. Because it yeah, was this, what? Is, this is ridiculous. Four, four and a half is when Patrick checked it next area, I think is what he said. Yeah. Which still is. I, I, yeah, it was two and a half too high. But that shouldn't. Yeah. I don't know. I think, obviously, none right now. But yeah, I'll call you tomorrow. Once we hear back from technical assistance, I'll give you a shot. Let you know. Because that first car fixed itself. It wouldn't do it anymore on a big scale. But this one was the first time it's done it again on a big scale. And I have nothing to gain or lose. This car's already a lemon for the ticking motor and because of detonation. Yeah. I've had a lot of detonation in this one. Um, where I pulled it into dealerships and they pulled who the did this? Who did the motor take repair for it? Nobody. No idea. So you're not going to believe how dumb General Motors is. I've lemon logged. Personally, I've lemon logged at least three C7Z06s. I think it's four. My friends and family have lemon logged a few also. Yeah. General Motors knows damn well who I am. I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm that guy kind of. Um, but the, the point is, when the, when the car came in, or when, the, when I got the car new, it was ticking. They hadn't released the TSB on it yet. They finally released the TSB. I take the car into the dealership for the second time after the TSB's release. Yeah. And General Motors says, no, we're not fixing it. Which bank is yours, left or right? Do you know? The one that's not hard to fix. The one you got to do in car. The other one, yeah. I think his left bank is in car, right bank, you got to drop the power. Train. Right. And so these, up, up there at McCluskey, when I, I was still up there, so they had, we were one of like seven dealerships, they sent the FSEs out to do the repairs in house. It was like right. Larry Malott, a guy by the name of Bob Van Horn, who's been uh, FSE for the GM for like 40 years. There's like three or four guys from the Corvette team from Michigan came out, and they all sat there for two days and did like the whole procedure. They wrote down the steps, right. the procedures. So we were one of the guinea pigs that they picked. I got to, you to create the TSP. To create the TSP. Yeah. And so basically, um, that's wild. They said they're not going to fix your car. Right. So so they said they're not fixing my car, and I told the dealership, to, to, to General Motors' defense, the dealership said that the Pico test came back inconclusive. I'm like, you can. I, I own two of them at the time. I own the original one, yeah. and I own this one. I'm like, guys, you can hear this one from across the fucking parking lot ticking, <laughs> and the other one doesn't. It isn't rocket science. Fix the fucking car. Someone got real loud. Well, this one does. Yeah. If it's cold, it gets real loud. And so. Um, 
So anyway, so they said no. So I was like, guys, you know I'm very familiar with Lemon Law, right? And I was like, don't, don't worry about it. General Motors is gonna buy this car back. And I literally put up videos on YouTube, like rubbing it in their face. and like, if you guys are dumb enough not to fix this car, you will be buying it back. Yeah. And, and so I took it to another dealership. They also were like, yeah, it's definitely ticking. But then when they would do the TSB or the, uh, the Pico test, General Motors once again said, oh, it's inconclusive. No problem. I take it to another dealership. Yeah, this thing's definitely ticking. And, and then, you know, by that point, eventually I got to where it's lemon status and I send in all the lemon paperwork. What, three repairs? It depends on the state. It depends on state, isn't but, it? But, yeah. but the point is I got to like four on this one. And uh, at that point I sent General Motors all the official paperwork and they're like, uh, go ahead and send them on his way. I said, if you guys are dumb enough to send me on my way, General Motors will be buying this car back. And they sent me on my way and then they call me back like a week or two later like, We'll fix your car now. I was like, nope, law says you guys are out of chances. You guys win the stupid award. Because they're stupid. They are that fucking stupid. And that, that, that's the thing. Like, like they were so proud of this, this car. This, this and with me, engine, their flagship it's, it's one thing car. to send another guy on his way. It's another thing to send a guy on his way who knows Lemon Law. And I tell you, if I take this car, it will be a Lemon. I just, I don't understand why they would and do they that. And they still sent me on my way. Because like, when they were, I know they were paying me. Things don't happen. They, they wouldn't just tell us. They wouldn't tell us. They find out TSP. Right. After they said, okay, it's going to be, you know, a reporting issue. Right. Um, I, I just, again, this is their. This, this engine, their baby, I'll tell you another thing. I've had so much detonation on it, random detonation. This car doesn't make as much power as it did when it was brand new. These yeah. bearings have re received some abuse. And so those bearings are, are friction now in the motor. I would love for a shot. Uh, like one of these, uh, uh, what's the shop here in Cincinnati? I'm trying to look at it. Um, shit. Weapon X. Yeah. Okay, so there's these different shops that have dinos. I would love that. to compare this one back to back with a new one. Yeah. And show how much less power this one makes. Because it's not as powerful as it used to be. When I watch my old videos, when this thing was brand new, it, it would tear when it gets into the power band. Yeah. It doesn't do that anymore. It, it, this engine. Oh, and by the way, I made another video the, the other day when I was trying to draw the oil out. This thing started making a crazy tick that I've never heard before, and it stopped as fast as it started. But I have it on video of it doing it. It wasn't any warning lights, nothing like that. No. General Motors has the check engine lights so disabled on these things, so they don't tell you if there's any problems. The other car that uh, that I know of that came in, there's two different dealers that had them uh, where, when they were brand new, dropped off from General Motors. They flooded the gasoline, or they flooded the oil, and uh, no warning lights whatsoever. And General Motors on one of those dealerships told the dealers it's just bad gasoline. Well, no, like so they this is the, too about like, like, hear what I just said. General Motors told the dealership it's bad gasoline. Bad gasoline. They know. You know I, I know they had the one board count too about any you put any aftermarket exhaust on these, it, it's going to trigger the oxygen sensor. Case. Oh yeah, yeah, those trigger. Quick. Yeah, any, anything like that triggers, but this they want to keep it a secret because they know it happens all the time. Yeah. Well, like I said, we'll, I'll wait for the to get back to us tomorrow, and then once yeah, they, I'm still waiting on the kit to show up. I want you guys to oil the oil until the kit shows up. Yeah, I got to take And then I want to uh, send it out, you know, immediately in your presence so you guys know I didn't mess with it. You see what I'm saying? Because otherwise, yeah. General Motors and everybody who are my critics still say, oh, you took that home and added something to it and now you're trying to prove that the car did this and the car didn't do this. So I'm literally gonna like show up here with like the FedEx box, put the thing in the box, seal it, and if you guys have like a FedEx pickup. Our right? parts department I think has yeah. FedEx they pick. You hey, guys Steve, are, does FedEx pick up from us or no? Does FedEx pick up from us or do we have to ship it? Yes, FedEx, who picks you, up from you guys? They they pick it? Up. We gotta take it to yeah. FedEx. Well, I'll give you guys the money, and uh, that way there's there's absolutely no question. Yeah. We're talking about an oil sample that proves a smoking gun with General Motors, and I just don't want there to be any evidence. A uh, guy down in South Florida, he does fantastic work. Yeah. All right, I'll give you guys the money. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. See ya.
So it's pretty self-explanatory. See ya.